Hi, my name is Karan and I'm here to talk about an issue that is occurring all over the world but especially in India. India's population is growing immensely, triggering many other problems including solid waste management. Today, solid waste management is a significant environmental issue especially in the developing country like India. Statistics display, statistics display a substantial increase in the solid waste generation especially in urban areas. Not only is this trend directly related to the rapid population growth in, early, in urban areas as well as the change in lifestyle and public disinterest towards municipal solid waste, but it also relies on the consumption of products and dumping in landfills. Since India is a developing country, the, the middle class is expanding, which means that more and more people are consuming a great amount of products and therefore producing a vast amount of waste. 30 years ago, on average, a family would produce 7 kilograms of waste a week. Today, on average, a single family produces more than 30 kilograms of waste a week. Over the past few years, solid waste has grown at an unbelievable rate. There was really only a few landfills which, would, which the waste would be dumped upon. Now, more people produce more waste and there is less space for the waste to be dumped on. Solid waste has not always been a problem. Until urban populations boomed, the garbage was not a threat. However, as cities grew, trash began piling up. And when that trash began piling up, it was not disposed properly. Not only is the amount of waste increasing rapidly, but a few decades ago, at least 90% of our waste was biodegradable. Now, more than 90% cannot degrade naturally for more than a thousand years. India itself produces 50 million tons of waste a year. The waste can be seen on roads, landfills, and anywhere the land accommodates it. This is not where our waste belongs. Our waste is being burnt on the roads or thrown into landfills. This means that our waste is not even being treated properly. Toxic waste has spilled into the roads and eventually that toxic waste makes its way back to us. There are all types of chemicals em emitting out of our own landfills. For example, methane gas. This hurts the air we breathe, the water we drink, and most importantly, the environment. Our water, our air, all around us is all going at, is all on stage because of our waste. Luckily, there is a promising solution already in place, the ecological footprint analysis. This is an environment ma environmental margin, uh, management tool which makes the relationship between the amount of land required to dispose per capita generated waste. The ecological footprint analysis is a quantitative tool that represents the eco ecological load imposed on the earth by humans in spatial terms. By quantifying the ecological footprint, we can formulate strategies to reduce the footprint and therefore have a sustainable living. The calculation of waste can determine the land required to dispose of the waste generated in present. Another solution I found which I think is more which will work more efficiently is composting. Composting, according to the Hindustan Times, is the most efficient way to dispose waste. More than half of what we carelessly throw away in the trash is organic matter, which if composted can produce rich topsoil for our plants. Unfortunately, most of us do not segregate our dry waste from wet waste, which makes composting impossible. The precious wet waste, what can potentially become black gold, remains unusable junk in our own landfills. Landfills are definitely not the ideal environment to create compost, since food is, tox is made toxic by the plastic and metal waste in the landfills. Waste gets piled up every day like a mountain in the landfills, and the layers below are cut off from oxygen. With time and a little patience, composting will make sure we deal with all of our products the correct way. Another solution I found was segregating. Waste segregation builds down to the waste management. Segregating and disposing of waste properly will not only reduce the amount of toxins entering the atmosphere, but segregating waste is saving the planet and, uh, and lives of other people. Segregating is basically separating our waste. The method of segregation has been proven beneficial for the environment I believe that as global citizens, we can come together and dispose our waste properly.